The following content has severe levels of cringe that may not be suitable for all viewers. Please proceed with caution. Thank you. Now let's get the motherfucking show started. Feminism ruins Star Wars. Change my mind. Well, the people at that convention don't really seem that happy with you, so may the force be with you, sir. Hello, all of my fabulous, beautiful people, and how are you all doing today? I hope that you're all doing really, really fabulous. And so today we are going to be going through some of the most cringiest posts online, but they're all pictures, so get ready, and let's just get right into the cringe, baby. Not really sure what that intro was, but I guess I will do. Soiled it! Bullying. Bullying is when one student or a group of students keeps picking on another student again and again to make them feel bad. It isn't big to make others feel small. Bullying isn't and will never be cool. Bullying? That's a bit sus. Shh, don't tell them that the imposter is actually the bully. Why does this post give me this type of vibe? Here we have an album called Coming of Age by the Cosmic Pumpkin, although there's several of them there, and with it there's a note. Dear Linda, here's our first and only Cosmic Pumpkin album for your listening pleasure. It has a little booklet in it. Despite what Davis thinks, that I have an unhappy marriage, I'm happy with Janice. But for the record, I was 100% faithful to you until our divorce. Have a happy one. Uh, uh, Dave, I think? Dave? I don't think anyone's coming of age or coming at all here. Anyway, I, I hate this place. Y'all be like, let me love you, but you message 10 other girls telling them you want to love them too. Like, shit, I'd let you, but you gotta share them others with me too, deal. And I can't even get a response from you either way. Nope, nope, just nope. That's not how you go about that. The Atlantic says, If the drug becomes significantly cheaper than newer, better diabetes treatments, more people could die from the disease. And they share this, lowering the cost of insulin could be deadly. Now listen, I know that I don't math, but this makes no sense. Like, what the fuck did I just read? You like heaven, don't you, mommy? March 10th, 1973 till March 14th, 2019. I am so sorry that your mom passed away. And I am also so sorry that you decided to put this on your body in order to commemorate her. This is not it. I think that you kind of soiled it, soiled it, soiled it, soiled it, soiled the Beetle Babies. Um, okay, I don't know who asked for this. I know it definitely was not Paul McCartney. We've been told not to turn around, you see. Oh, we, we, gotta, so we got a bit mad. We got to look this way. And yeah, Paul, don't look at that. This thing's gonna be in my nightmares tonight. Just, no. Mom should get a fast pass to the front of the line at coffee shops. Honey, you're 22 and slept 10 hours last night. Get to the back of the line. Mama needs her coffee. Hashtag mom life. This always makes me laugh because it's like half of the people that go and get coffee are 22 and moms. So I just want to point out that if you guys did this, it would just be a mom line at the front of the real line. I don't know how entitled you have to be, but Karen, please stop. Stop. <laughs> Women. <laughs> 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 Me thinking to myself at the surf safe class and test today. I bet that man is a Virgo with heavy earth placements and a dash of Scorpio. I had to stop myself from asking their birthday because I'm nosy and that's just not appropriate. It's a good thing that they call it surf safe there and not smart serve like they do here in Canada because there is nothing smart about this and this bitch here is delusional. 
Our signs must match or else I can't date you. She's a dash of crazy. Lose weight and marry me and make a hundred babies. Excuse me? We'd make hot babies. What the fuck is a hot? Okay, I just gotta get through this. You know it. My Italian skin would even out your pale skin. We'd make a hot mocha baby. I'm 25% Italian. And then he's 100% creep. Hey, babe. How are you? Been thinking about you lately. I always thought you were so attractive during wrestling season, but I was with Brandon, so I could never tell you how attractive I was towards you. Yeah, I'm super married. I get that. I just wanted to tell you finally how I felt. Okay, let me tell you how I feel. I love my wife. I only have eyes for her. And this conversation makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> At least this guy's a good guy, though. You gotta give him that. Although she's just out here like, I don't care if you're married. I'll get with you. I'm sorry. I just thought I'd tell you how I felt after high school. And then she seems to send, like, some kind of bank statement or something. I want to you always have and then she she sends um a picture that i cannot show here and all i have to say is that if someone tells you that they're married just move along okay get the hell out of here so here we have lucifer and i am unsure if he is a human or a furry wolf but he is 29 years old he is a financial analyst being in the hospitality sector he went to the university of zurich and he lives in that weird place in london that i can't pronounce only people from the united kingdom is what he's looking for and he says he's a top hat by birth a doctor with heart and a wolf by nature I think that's what that means anyway. He's a foreign language enthusiast, a pianist, a graphic designer. He loves to play squash and tennis, and he loves going cycling, hopefully not into insanity as a furry wolf. However, above all, let me explain something. He says, if you have any emotional problems, unhealed childhood traumas, emotional instability, etc., do not write to me. I'm not going to be your therapist. If you're unfamiliar with the work of Proust or Liszt, and you only associate the name Kant with a female organ, just eat. Only with a female organ? You mean like the, the vagina? I'm just saying, I don't know what this is about. But I mean, I don't know if our man here is going to get a match. I guess all the women would read this and they would just be like, Oh, oh, I, yes, let's go. Birth scenes. <clears throat> Any scenes in movies or photos of Uma Thurman giving birth, not necessarily to Maya or her other kids in real life, but if there is a scene of her in the act of having a baby, at least her face, I would love to see it. I don't really know why. All I know is that Uma Thurman just gonna come out here and just be like, kill that bill. It happened to me. He beat up my boyfriend and I can't stop fapping to it. I don't know if that works for a woman or not. I try to fight it so hard when these thoughts come into my head, but I have no idea what to do. Do. Is this something that happens to a lot of people? Because it's all like, it happened to me. And it doesn't take a lot to think. Listen, not all of us have a pussy boyfriend, okay? After spending $160 on a dinner, $50 on flowers, and $20 on chocolate, she tells me she has a headache. And then this picture, and it says, she better believe she ain't getting the way that easy. She know what she signed up. And I'm kind of like, what did she sign up for? For you to commit a crime on her, sir? I feel very, very worried. We need to call the police. Go and get the pussy policia. Okay, never mind. Bill Cosby talks to kids about drugs. Oh, there's a lot to unpack here. And this aged like sour milk. It's condensed sour milk, if you will. Stop racism. Okay, so, so far, so good. I agree. It's okay to be Asian, Black, Arab, Normal, American. Well, I'm gonna get canceled today. We all know what America is, but uh, I just have a question. Normal? What's normal these days? All we know is that it's now not normal to be American. Blame Gen Z. Walmart. Limit two per customer. Me. And here is Justin Trudeau being racist. Speaking of racism. 
Ooh, it's just, it's not a good look, is it? But Canada, fuck yeah! Penises are so cute. Oh my god. Ooh, dicks are so cute. Oh my god. When you hold one in your hand and it starts twitching like it's nuzzling you. Or when they perk up and look at you like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Penis cum is happy to see me. And the most adorable thing ever is when sperm sama comes out, but they're really shy. So you have to work hard. But when penis kind of sperm on me and they're blushing and all like, ooh, <laughs> penis kind of so adorable. I just, I, I don't know what, what penis kind of is. It's too spicy for me. She seems to be very into happiness. <laughs> penis, 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 penis. The fuck did I just read? I need some time off. Who wants to have a baby so I can have some PFL? Also, not opposed to being a stay-at-home dad. Just saying. And all the women out here be like... <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm looking for a natural sperm donor meeting these requirements. She wants your little wrigglers. Age 16 to 23, wait 16, ew. Never used any prescription or illicit drugs. Never drank except for commune, com commune, I don't even know. Blonde or light brown hair, not overweight and comes from a 75% plus American background. Ground, agrees to forfeit all parental rights at time of birth. No payment will be collected during any natural quote-unquote breeding sessions. However, regular child support payments in the amount of 20% of your income will be expected within the first month of birth. You will remain completely anonymous throughout the child's 18 years of life and you would be expected to maintain that same level of anonymity with anyone around you. Please reach out to me through messages messenger for more information. Thank you. And I'm sure all of the men are just popping off right near right now. She has one hell of a nerve to be like, you ain't gonna help me with the child. You don't get parental rights. You could be 16, but uh, listen, you gotta be completely anonymous and then you have to pay me child support. Every father's dream. I'm seeking a willing sperm donor. Serious applicants only. Do it for science. Science! Do it for science! Hi, it's me, your boyfriend again. Oh, guys, get out the popcorn. This one's gonna be quite a treat. I'd appreciate it if you could talk to me in person about these kinds of things instead of airing our personal business on Facebook. This has nothing to do with you. You're not a part of this. Um, I, I think that maybe he should be. She'd be like, you evil little worm, get out of here. Your seat's not good enough. Science! Do it for science! My oldest cat was an orphan. I rescued and bottle fed. When she was still sucking kitten milk, she also began suckling my lower lip whenever we were close. Uh, I don't know where this is going, but so far I don't like it. She would suckle me for up to 10, 15 minutes, maybe more. Sometimes fall asleep on my pillow with my lip in her mouth. Yeah, no, this is straight up creepy. <laughs> she kept doing this for several years. I wish she had never stopped. At least she still licks my nose and mouth so I can smell her heavenly kitty breath. The fishier, the, the better? Okay. Okay, he just likes his fish, pussy, I guess. The best odor is when she has just awakened after closed mouth. While she is licking my nose and mouth, if her tongue slithers in my lips, I let it. I flick her lips back a little bit. It's wonderful. I think this cat just wants this to stop. He's like, go away. Get out of here. Poor cats. I really do hope that this is just some kind of uh, troll, but uh, unfortunately, I don't think it is is and therefore leave the pussy alone <coughs> the butt baby oh yay a prosthetic baby that can be inserted deep into the loving embrace of the rectum where a trans woman can experience and celebrate the miracle of childbirth it comes in white brown and bushman of the qatar what all right, th this thing's a little bit too much for me, but um, I, I guess here it is uh, again. It's just making me want to cry. Why does this exist, damn it? 
I've been told not to turn around, you see. Oh, we've really? so we got a, a bit mad, we got to look this way. And... The butt baby, everyone! We've been told not to turn around, you see. Oh, we've really? so we got a, a bit mad, we got to look this way. And... Soiled it! Yeah, after that, I think that's all the cringe pics I can take for today, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed this video, got a little laugh out of it, and that you didn't totally want to claw out your eyes. I do believe I died a hundred times while making this, but it was worth it just for your entertainment. Please do give it a like, subscribe if you are new here, and think about joining our fabulous, amazing members. All of the beautiful people do. And if you don't, I will turn you into a butt baby. Mm-hmm. I'm told not to turn around, you see. Oh. No matter where you are, what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous day. Take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon with another one. Mwah. Bye! But babies. Commune, com, commune, num, I don't even know. We've been told not to turn around, you see. Oh, really? Really? So we got a bit mad, we got to look this way. And... Soiled it! I, I hate this place. Whoa!